Hello everyone, welcome to today's webinar. My name is Bobby Santolo and I am really excited to discuss triggers. Hundreds of our clients rave about the impact and success they've had using triggers. I'm here today to help you learn about using triggers to improve your customer shopping experience and raise your average order amount. If you're not familiar with triggers, triggers automatically add items to the cart based off specific criteria. And there are three types of triggers, product triggers, category triggers, and coupon triggers. Before I begin, I have to mention that triggers are awesome. They're a great tool with a lot of possibilities. If you have any questions during this presentation, please submit them through the GoToMeeting interface, and I will do my best to address them at the end of the presentation. I'm gonna start off by visiting our golf demonstration, firstfairway.com, a fictitious golf retailer. I want you guys to picture this as your retail store. Let's say you're a merchant who offers kits or bundles, products that come multiples at a time, sort of like this Callaway FTI driver right here in the wood section. Right now, this product only appears to be a driver, but in actuality, it includes two products. As we see with this product trigger here, an item can automatically be added into the cart at the same time when the customer adds this driver into the cart. In this case, the Callaway FTI driver head cover being added in for free. As a merchant, you know, this makes it really easy for you to have an internally visible product, which may not be available to customers, the head cover in this case, also be bundled in with a regular product displayed in the store. Makes it easy for customers to proceed through their shopping experience without having to click another click, visit another page, or take another action. Very seamless. In a similar way, it might be appropriate for customers to receive an item for free when they purchase a specific line of items or from a specific category. In this case, golf balls. At firstfairy.com, we want to make sure anybody who purchases golf balls also gets a set of golf tees as well. So we're going to add this to the cart, and we should see the golf tees fly into the cart. Now, if we were to purchase any other golf balls at the same time, those tees would also fly into the cart as well, making it really easy for, again, a customer to you know, receive an additional product no matter which item they buy from that line of products. Now let's assume you're a customer who just received a coupon promotion because you're a valued customer. You know, so you may be sending out a, cu a, coupon, a coupon to your top 100 customers. In this case, it's gonna be applicable for our putters. We have a coupon code called free putting lesson that a customer could enter and receive a, two, a discount or in the form of a free putting lesson when they spend more than $200 on putters. So this coupon would be sent out to a specific set of customers, as I mentioned, and now that they have this promotion in the cart, an additional item can automatically be added in once they meet that threshold, in this case, the $200 on putters. The glory of this coupon trigger is it makes it easy for customers to really add in items or take advantage of promotions without having to find the additional item in the store. And the glory for the merchant is that they can really tailor their promotions to specific customers without having the same promotional content displayed to every customer in the store at the same time. This gives you lots more control over the coupon promotion you, you display and you offer to customers. Now we just flew through that shopping process, which is great. Thanks to these triggers, customers can do the same. I'm gonna now take you to the next external order management system so you can see how triggers are set up and controlled. In the product section of your order management system is where all your items are, are set up as well as all your triggers are managed. What I'm gonna show you right now is how we set up a trigger for this titanium magnetic golf bracelet to be added into the cart automatically when someone buys the Callaway hot golf, golf, uh, golf sunglasses. So we'll scroll down the page here to 
the automatic ad triggers section. And we're going to click on add. And we're going to add one trigger. Again, we don't want a category trigger in this case. We want it to be a specific product trigger whenever that Callaway sunglasses are added in to the cart, hybrid series sunglasses are added to the cart, we wanna have one of these titanium magnetic golf bracelets added into the cart as well. So the key here to remember is that a trigger is set up on the item that is being added into the cart, not the one that's triggering the other product. So we click finish here and it's that simple. One other thing that I always recommend to my clients if, when they're setting up triggers is they make sure that they review the preferences button at the top of the product section. The preferences button really displays different controls and preferences for how your, your triggers are going to react when they're in use. Specifically, three components here are really critical to make sure you understand. Number one, multiple quantity. If I buy two of an item, are two items flying into the cart automatically through the trigger as well, or only one? As this option is off, it would be only be one in this case. On the right-hand side, the enforced coupon requirement. In the example we, we reviewed with the coupon code for the free putting lesson, if this checkbox is checked, this means that the customer must meet the threshold of the coupon, in that case $200 first, before the trigger will push in the, the putting lesson itself. If it's off, it would happen automatically. And the third one is this override product visibility. In the first example we looked at with the Callaway FTI driver and the cover head, that cover head was an internally visible product because it was a $0 cost. So if this option is off, that $0 cost of that internal cover head would not have been able to be added to the cart. Again, Use these wisely and make sure that you understand the functionality first before putting them into place. So that's triggers. Triggers are really great for helping merchants, you know, make the most out of their promotions that they're offering. Try, either, whether you're trying to constantly improve your customer's shopping experience or increase your average order amount, they can do both of those all in one shot. They're very powerful and I hope you utilize them well. As you begin setting up triggers, make sure you don't hesitate to reach out to your account executive if you have any additional questions or would like any assistance. We definitely look forward to helping you utilize these tools. Well, thank you everybody for coming and attending this webinar. We definitely look forward to helping you utilize triggers in the future. Have a great day.